ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಮಿತ ಇವ ಫಾದರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ಲರ್ನ್ who said i don't have a teacher actually i have an, a lot of teachers i'm not limited into subjects you see uh, all these great physicians and scientists like maybe albert einstein maybe isaac newton they all left their school for some reason but they were in nature like all of the time all of their time they spent it in nature and physics is nature physics is how it happens and they learned all that principles and theories from nature also all these people i meet in treks that are so experienced like doctor doctors and engineers and many more people they are really experienced and they teach me a lot of things so that's how I learn. but if you want to learn mathematics how do you learn mathematics from nature there are ways but if there is something i cannot learn from you know going outside i can still learn it from the internet this is Uh, now technology uh, technology is improved that it is accessible for everybody yeah. so that that is that is a good point yeah. so you're not scared that you left school and in future maybe you may you don't even get job and you don't even have certificate means you don't even get job in future how do you i don't want a job that in which i have to work under us under someone right mm-hmm. i want to do something i want to do and i want to follow my dream and that is nothing related to the government like any job like you know peons that work below people there's nothing wrong in that we need those kind of people but so what it, we, it's not what i want i we feel like you know just you are listening to your father and you are taking decisions because we do, we don't even believe that of our 11 or 12 years age a kid cannot take this much big decisions in in our life you are taking it we feel like you are taking decisions from your father do you, are you taking i'm learning from my father but i'm not taking decisions from my father i'm not taking decisions from anybody mm. this was my decision and i don't think i have to explain anything for that mm. it was just my decision mm. because he all he wants me to be is happy mm. and i'll be happy without school you will never say uh, did he say anything for no for anything when you say said like you know i don't want to go for school no he did not he was yeah. the one by whom i am making my own decisions you were happy with that yeah thank you thank you so much yaar gar question is another kid you know our question right yes please ask ah samita do you suggest to the friends to take their own decision for uh, go to school or not i do suggest them but it's totally up to them if they choose it how do you convince them i wouldn't convince them you should never convince someone it should probably be on your own but they are probably convinced by their parents to not leave it and that i don't think i can do anything about it i try it but most of the time it doesn't work okay. it will work it will work some day most of the students they don't like school mm. they don't want to go for school they studying means they are getting irritated you know just for those kind of students if they watch your video and they will get some kind of confidence that they can say to their parents say to their parents that i don't want to go for school see these kind of uh, kids they without school they are so confident i will be like that for those kind of students what do you want to say they they you are motivating the laziness in them yeah. to hide from uh, school and uh, homework if they take your decision what is your correct alame ha huh. ha huh, actually school isn't the like studying isn't the only way to achieve something there are a lot of things a lot of unimaginable things that we can achieve and we are not being able to do that because the school is limiting it you we don't know the capacity of a human body and the brain its brain and it can do a lot of things and if they are if they hate studying it's probably because they feel is somewhere else and they belong somewhere else if they would leave school they wouldn't just be like sitting like a couch potato they would do something in life because no but no human can stay like that it's you is the human nature to do something in life so they'd probably follow their passion and be something great now uh, you know the english is a tool for everybody you know universally people are using this one this language and uh, we, we are also like you know in different states that we are communicating together and uh, sharing our emotions and uh, get collecting all information from this language 
if you want to learn because you are not going to school most of the uh, schools teach us this language and if you are not going to school what if you want to learn uh, these kind of uh, languages you know what do you do uh, there are many ways in, on the internet as i said before to learn languages mm -hmm. i'm trying to learn korean recently korean yeah and uh, english yeah it the school did help me mm -hmm. in english but i could do that without the school also also it is possible yeah andre nee ga makkalu idu school kalisadaga ಅದೊಂದು ಟೈಮ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಅಪ್ಪ ಅಮ್ಮ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಅನ್ಸಿರ್ತಲ್ವಾ ಈಗ ಹಂಗೆ ಬಿಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಾಗ ಅವ್ರು ಯಾವ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರ ಮಾಡೋದೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಂಗೆ ಅಂತ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡೇ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಯೂ ನಾ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಲೇಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ after that i will have i will get the passion mm -hmm. to do something mm -hmm. that is what happened with me for two months i was like yeah i'm not going to school i'm not going to do anyone or do anything i woke up at 2 am and then i just watched videos and i slept and i didn't eat that happens but that is the way you learn that you really need to do something in life to keep your mind at peace also that when you go to school you have a certain time of doing everything and you are in a in a particular environment while doing the same thing and that way your mind gets bored you need to give it variety uh, so if you are not going to school you can keep changing rooms while studying you can go outside in the nature while studying you can change your variables of studying like the internet you can you know do a lot of things when you are not restricted in one area do you have uh, friends i do have friends and not all of them are my age oh okay Okay, do they ask, uh, I'll complete that video, really, again I'll ask you the same question. Uh, uh, do they suggest, you, do, do your friends suggest that uh, you should go for school like that? They do, but um, not all of them are actually hmm. saying what they mean. Hmm. Because all of them, they only do what their parents say, that's what kids do. Hmm. And if you keep telling them what to do, they will never be someone of their own. you can never make someone an engineer who is meant to be a doctor you can never make someone a doctor who is meant to be an engineer if your friends uh, treat you like uh, you know she is not going for school if they make different group and uh, if they keep you in a separate uh, mm -hmm. position and uh, keep on teasing you like you know she is not going for school and we all are going for school we will be something in future and she is not going to get uh, any future in her life in that kind of situation how do you handle yourself you know you need people who do not believe in you because if everyone believes in you you have no one to prove wrong and if you have no one to prove wrong you just don't get the motivation and you stay lazy like that and you need these kind of people in your life but you will not be degraded you for yourself you know you know they are not you will be confident they are not the only people i will meet in life obviously you met did you meet those kind of people obviously so this is your final decision or any college you are going to join there is no final decision i keep changing you keep changing okay we can expect uh, you will join college but she is doing home schooling she is taking 10th directly yeah. ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ you know people my age are getting depressed right now they're getting anxiety at a very young age because they get being restricted that is why rebels happen that is why drugs are happening that is why all those kind of things are happening because if you restrict people they are humans at the end of the day they're going to rebel at some day we rebel for freedom because we were restricted we do everything because we are restricted it's not your child's fault if he gets stuck in those kind of things you should just give everyone freedom as you expected super thank you thank you thank you thank you so much it I is very happy very <laughs> wonderful thank you so much for uh, such a beautiful interview thank, thank you thank you